Dear Father, we thank you for all the things that you have done for us in 2021. We look ahead to a very prosperous year in you, receiving your knowledge, revelation and understanding, and sharing the good news with the world. We are very grateful for our families, for those of us that Father Brocker to have, our mother and father, children, grandchildren with us, we give you praise. We thank you for feeding, clothing, and sheltering us and protecting us in 2021. Thank you that you make all things new. Thank you, Father, that all power is in your hands. You kill, you make alive, you wound, and you heal. Thank you for all that you've allowed into our lives this past year, the good along with, the, with some of the hard things and some of the emotional things and some things Hallelujah, our feelings have been hurt and we've had to explain some things and we want to thank you for communication which you have encouraged and helped us to open up more to each other which have reminded us how much we need you and rely on your presence filling us every single day. We pray for your Ruach Hokodesh to lead us each step of this year that already started in 2021 and continuing, hallelujah, into 2022. But we know that this is talking about this new year. We ask that you will guide our decisions and turn our hearts to deeply desire you above all else. Touch your people to turn to you everywhere there is fear. I pray for salvation of souls throughout the earth. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We ask that you will open doors needing to be opened and close the ones needing to be shut tight. We ask that you would help us release our grip on the things to which you've said no, not yet or wait. We ask you to help us with the things we just do not understand. Help us, Father, as we work hard. We work hard, but we desire to work with wisdom and alertness. Along with prudence, we thank you. We ask for help to pursue you first above every dream and desire that you put within our hearts. Help me to listen to those that talk to me. Help me to listen with wisdom and wise counsel and understanding if necessary. We ask for your strength, your wisdom, and power to be constantly present within us. We pray you will make us strong and courageous for the road ahead. Oh, Father, give us ability beyond what we feel able. Let your gifts flow freely through us <clears throat> so that you would be honored by our lives and others would be drawn to you. Help us, Father, to process the grief and the longing and the loneliness. Help us. We pray that you'd keep us far from the snares and traps of temptations and that you would whisper in our ear when we need to run and whisper in our heart when we need to stand our ground. Help us to be strong. Take away any, any, um, anything in us that causes us to hesitate. Have mercy upon us, Father. Some of us have lost our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our husbands, our friends, our relatives, our co-workers. We need your help. We need your help in all the homes. We need your help on all the jobs. 
We need your help in law enforcement, military, fire department, hospital sanitation, doctors, nurses, and all the health people. We ask you to send forth your word and heal us, Father. We pray for your protection of our families and friends. We ask for your hand to cover us and keep us distant from the evil intent of the enemy. Hallelujah, Father. We pray Psalm 91, verse 10, that you will keep the plagues away from, from us, Father, and that you have insulated our bodies with your word and that you raised up a standard in our immune system that we have excellent immune system throughout the world that we are free from sickness illness and and infirmities that hallelujah set us free from diabetes high blood pressure cancer and all kinds of rheumat a rheumatism and arthritis and autism and blindness, Father, etc., etc. Et we pray that you will give us discernment and insight beyond our years to understand your will, hear your voice, and know your ways. We ask that you would keep our footsteps firm on solid ground, helping us to be consistent and faithful. Give us supernatural endurance to stay the course, not swerving to the right or to the left or being too easily distracted by other things that would seek to call us away from a close walk with you, Father. Have mercy upon us. Forgive us for the times we have worked so hard to be self-sufficient, forgetting our need for you living independent of your spirit. Forgive us for letting fear and worry control our minds and for allowing any pride or ego or anything or selfishness wreak havoc over our lives. Help us to forgive each other. Hallelujah, Father, forgive us for not following your ways and for living distant from your presence. We confess our need for you fresh, new again. We ask that you make all things new in our hearts and our minds, in our lives for this coming year. We pray for your refreshing over us, O oh, Heavenly Father. Keep your words, we pray, King of the universe. Keep your words of truth planted firm within us. Help us to keep focus on the road ahead, on what you've given us, on this ancient path, on what is pure and right. Give us the power to be obedient to your word, Father. And when the enemy reminds us where we have been, hissing his lies and attacks our way, we trust that your voice speaks loud and stronger. As you remind us, we are safe with you. And your purposes and plans will not fail. We ask that you will be our defense and real guard, keeping our way clear, removing the obstacles and covering our pitfalls. Oh, you will lead us on your level ground. Psalm 34 says you deliver us out of all of our troubles and all of our fears. Oh, Heavenly Father, touch our bodies right now. Pour forth the healing and to return our bodies to normal, we pray. Have mercy. We ask that you will provide for our needs. We ask for your grace and favor throughout, throughout the world with all of those people that we owe money to. We have mortgages and all of this and taxes. Oh, Father, please, we need your help. Make a way for us. We pray for your your brokers to cover us. We pray that you would help us to prosper and make every plan that you have birthed in our heart to succeed. We have wonderfully and fearfully created by you. You have a plan for each one of us. We bow our head in acknowledgement, oh Father. Give us this strength. Keep our voices strong, Father. We pray that others would take notice of your goodness and could not help but to say, these are the ones that Yahuwah has brought Baruch. Help us to be known as, as great givers, to be a light in this world. Help us to be a light in our homes. Help us to be a light where we go. Help us to have empathy and compassion with one another. 
Help us to pray day and night without ceasing for the thing that we see in this world. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask that you have mercy. We repent. Oh, Israel, repent. Repent. Oh, everyone, repent of your sins and give your life to Messiah. Help us to be generous and kind. Help us to look to the needs of others and not to be consumed by on our own. May we be lovers of truth. May the fruits of your spirit be evident in our lives. Your love, your joy, your peace, your patience, your kindness, your goodness, your faithfulness, your gentleness, and self-control. Help us, yeah. Help us to excel in 2022. Help us to rise up and profit. Hallelujah. P-R-O-F-I-T. That we will be able to help. To help people. We want to thank you, y'all. Shine your light in us, on us, and through us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, yeah. Help us to do what you put us on this earth for us to do. Help us to make a difference in this world for your glory and purposes. Show us your way. May all your plans succeed in our lives. We may reflect your peace and hope to a world that so desperately needs your presence and healing. We give you praise and we thank you for Messiah said and Whosoever shall not receive you, not hear your words. When you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth that sheep in the midst of wolves. Be you therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not you that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaks in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endured to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee you into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. The disciple is not above the master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord, if they have called me master of the house, Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid. That shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak you in light. And what you hear in the ear, that preach you upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but 
or not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not to spare a soul for a father, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. And father know the number of hairs. He know the, the name of all the stars and all the angels. He know everything. Let us trust him. Reach out to other people with the salvation word of truth that they would repent and turn from their wicked and evil ways and give their lives to Father. Instead of committing suicide, give, uh, that they would give their lives to Father. Heavenly Father, to you be the glory and honor. As this year go out and the other one come in and forever help that this year this year will be more different than any other year. Hallelujah. Despite the fact that there's a pandemic, we thank you, Father. You carried us through the uncertainty of deep waters, through the flames of trials, and through the pain of hard losses. We are constantly aware of how much we need you, your grace, your strength, your power, working through even the toughest days. Help us to keep focus first on you this season, for there's a time and a season for everything. Forgive us for looking to other people instead of coming to you first. We want to thank you, Yah. We want to thank you, Yah. Thank you for what you're doing. Help me, help my heart to be free and help me to tie up loose ends and various things that whatever I need to, to work on, help me, Father. Help me to work on, help all of us, Father. Hallelujah. For it says that there is a time in a season for everything. Hallelujah. Time and a season for everything. To every thing there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. A time to talk and a time to be quiet. A time to listen and a time to talk. A time to walk and a time to sit. A time to drive and a time to walk. A time to cook and a time to eat. A time to laugh and a time to cry. A time to reflect and think. I want to thank you, Yah, for this time of our lives. As you anoint us, as you anoint us for the work ahead, it is time to work. It's time to work, and it's also a time to rest. I thank you for the Sabbath. I thank you for anyone that listens to this video all the way through. May you grant blessings in their homes and those that don't hear. 
that you grant blessings in their homes. Thank you, Father, for all that you're doing in our lives. In Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah Baruch us going out, coming in. Yahuwah is counting and shine up on us and grant us wisdom. Grant us peace. Grant us wisdom. Grant us counsel. Grant us knowledge. Grant us might. Grant us understanding. Grant us love. Grant us strength. Everything that we stand in need of. Grant us healing if we need healing. We give you praise. For there's nothing impossible for you to do for us. Thank you, Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All praise Baruch Bishim. Yahuwah. Thank you, Messiah, Yahushua. Thank you, Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit. Baruch Hashem, 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 Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah, Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah, Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah, Baruch Haba Bishem Yahuwah, Baruch Haba Bishim Yahuwah Baruch Haba Bishim Yahuwah Baruch Haba Bishim Yahuwah May our Father be glorified on this Sabbath day as we gather with our own in our own homes with our individual families teaching and sharing the wonderful Deva word of the most high Elohim. Hallelujah. May he grant blessings to you and your family. Health, strength, joy, and prosperity. Amen.